The show is just beginning. Yo, Big Santa here. So in this video, I'm going to go over Ling Yang, the lion dancing boy. And his main gimmick is that he uses the lion spirit. So the lion spirit is his forte circuit um, or his currency for his forte circuit on the bottom bar. And you always want to get to max as possible. Because then when he gets into that mode, he actually starts gyrating. Um, AKA attacking a lot faster and he stays in the air and then his attack becomes mountain roamer His E skill becomes mountain roamer and that does a decent amount of damage. So everything kind of increased and is faster And in order to get lion spirit There are a couple ways. So the first way is actually Getting your intro skill So coming in he will get some spirit or you do your ult and doing your ult also give you some spirit uh, there's another way which is kind of a little more complicated. It kind of evolved using his um, his skill, but his skill has to be used after his combo string. Uh, the third combo string, three, four, or five. Combo string three, four, or five, and then it will actually change his skill, his regular basic skill, which is this, right? That's his regular basic skill. And then if you do it after combo three, four, or five, it actually changes to ferocious punches, not ferocious, furious punches. And that will give you Lion Spirit. Um, also, your, he has his basic attack, right? Which is a 5 hit combo. And if you do his Furious Punches, which is after 3, 4, or 5, the final hit on that, the fifth one, will actually be different. So, let's see here. So, you know at the bottom left, he kind of glows glows it kind of glows a uh, blue and that's when you when the next hit you do is ferocious punches with the, the, the drive thing and then you notice that giant hit at the end the sparrow roar it changes into that after you do ferocious punches and you notice how my bar is full now <laughs> so now if i press the heavy attack let me find an enemy if you press a heavy attack you go into that Riding lion mode, which he stays in the sky. And, the la and you do his basic attacks or heavy attack, doesn't matter, but you remember to spam basic attack. And then when you're out, he does this Luke can kick and he does a flip coming down. A lot of it has to do with basic. Uh, if you do the heavy attack regularly, he does that thing and he does the tail sweep. So, well, we can go over this real quick. We have his move here. Uh, if we go look at striding when it's run. So when he goes to that mode, his bar will lose lion spirit. And then when he gets to zero, let's just, uh, where is that? When we go less than 10, he's big attack performs stormy kicks, which is pretty much close to zero, right? After performing basic attack stormy kick, then the mid uh, attack radiant plunge be becomes available. It restore when lion spirit is consumed. So you get, you get a, uh, Outro skill energy when he when he used the uh, lion spirit, which is pretty nice. <laughs> Make it easy to kind of skip and stuff. So it becomes radiant plunge, which is different from this uh, tail tail swipe plunge. Oh, right here, mid air attack right here, tail swipe, tail strike. When lion spirit is not full, use the basic attack does the tail strike. So that's different from this one. They all do like glacial damage. So that's basically his gimmick. Uh, his ult actually is pretty nice because it actually increases his damage, glacial damage by 50% and it actually does glacial damage landing down. So usually before you actually go into the striding lion stage, I want to fight a boss. After you go to the striding lion stage, you want to, before doing that, you should do your ult. But there's a nice, there's a weird thing on it sometimes. Is that when you, when you have full bar. Oh, I got it. Woo. Sometimes when he does his intro skill and he's at full bar. He will automatically go into Striding Lion. So that's one thing to keep an eye out that um, when you switch into him, 
and he has full lion bar, he will instantly go into Shredder Lion. So you don't sometimes because sometimes you want to do your ult first, right? Until you get the fifty percent damage bonus, and then go into Shredder Lion. But sometimes it doesn't it doesn't do that, <laughs> which is a little annoying. But that that's a little warning for you. I'm gonna quickly go over the nodes. So priority, I will go for Forte Circuit, obviously. Pretty much for every character, you want to get Forte Circuit. Usually gives you the his pretty much the whole kit is around this, right? So you pretty much want to get this and max it out first. And then I personally went for Glacial Damage after getting the skill level up. And then probably finally I'll go for Attack, right? So because then these these actually change the gameplay more than these other ones. These are just damage bonus and stuff like that. For weapons, let's just look at his blessing slot currently. It's obviously the five star one. It gives attack and attack percentage. Attack percentage isn't the greatest, but it had to do had pretty good base attack, right? But the ability here gives you energy regen, so you can ult more. And when you ult more, you get more lion spirit. And then when he uses skill, it increases your basic attack. And then when you're using a base attack, it increases your skill, which is pretty much all he does, anyways, right? He does a combo with the furious punches, and then go back and combo furious punches again. And then when he's in the lion striding lion stage. He's pretty much doing base attack all the time anyways. Uh, except, you know, the only heavy attack is the entry thing. So, uh, getting into it. And then he does the skill, which is the Mountain Roamer. So, this is great for him. Not the best uh, substat here, but it will have to do. And get five star stats anyways, right? And the next one, uh, these two are kind of interchangeable here, I feel like. Because either the ability or the stats. The Battle Pass weapon gives crit rate. Which is OP stat, substat, obviously. Uh, the ability here is when they use the skill, it increases the ult damage. Not too bad, right? But the important part is the crit rate. <laughs> so, this one, and then we also have one of the, the ones that you can get from the banner, which is the Hollow Mirage. I don't have one currently, so here's the picture. <laughs> it gives attack and attack percentage, so it's not the greatest, but the ability is that when he does the ult, he gets 3% attack and defense buff. And that stack up to three times. But if you get hit, you lose a stack, okay? So as long as you don't get hit, right? It's fine. And then the last one that I'm currently using, unfortunately, is the Marcado, which energy regen, eh, get old faster, I guess. And then when you use your skill, it gets like the intro outro energy thing, the uh, concerto energy. It's, it's okay um and then i guess for three star you can use whichever one you feel like it because there's one that gives you what resident so when you use a skill you get uh energy there's one that you, when you come in with intro skill you get attack buff there's also one when you hit with basic attack but he does often you get like you get heal one of them is increases ult damage yeah it's, uh, however you feel but i three the three star one isn't that great compared to all the other ones here so i would go with those <laughs> For Echoes, you want the five piece frost set because this one right here using upon basic attack. He does that all the time, increase your glacial damage. And obviously glacial damage OP because that's like the last part of the calculation. Just straight up damage buff. So for the main one, I personally like this boss monster. Right? It does three hits, 200 percent damage, and they can get frozen on hit. Each shot uh, increases their glacial damage by 4% and skill damage, which is good, right? It's OP. You, you can get this in the Tiger Maul Mine. Let me go over this map here. Tiger Maul Mine down here. It's like on the bottom, underground, so you can have to dig through it. If you do this uh, exploration quest, you'll, you'll, you'll get into it. <laughs> you'll run to it. <laughs> okay, let's get back into this. So, uh, you want crit rate, so it, okay, it kind of depends on your weapon. If your weapon has crit rate, then you obviously want crit damage. But, most of his weapons that he uses doesn't have crit rate, so only Snownar is the one that has crit rate at the moment. That's good for him, so you would just want crit rate on here. And then, you, for the three cost ones, so this is the four, three, three, one, one. That's what you want to get to 12. So the, you want the three and you want the glacial damage bonus, obviously, right? And max out 30% damage just straight up. And then for the one cost, you want attack because he's a DPS. He scales off attack. It didn't say so unless it says otherwise, right? Like another character that I will do a video on 
Yuan Wu, that's the next video coming up. I am a gauntlet main, if you guys didn't know. So I'm just gonna build, should, do guys on gauntlets. And I'm just gonna build gauntlets. And then we have these support things. Uh, yeah, I don't know <laughs> if I build guides on them. Because my main focus is gauntlets. So, for substats, what you want to aim for is crit rate or in, and crit damage. Because you can't actually get elemental damage bonus on this. So crit rate, crit damage. And then the next one is basic attack damage bonus. Because he mostly does basic attack. And then secondary, uh, these are kind of interchangeable. You have attack percentage. You have energy regen to ult more. And you have liberation damage bonus. These are pretty much like kind of the same level to me in my opinion. So crit rate, crit damage, and then basic attack damage bonus. All right, and then we have attack, energy regen, and liberation bonus. You don't need heavy attack bonus. He doesn't do it that much. The only thing is like the lion strike thing, getting in, and, or <laughs> you like spamming that skill. It takes stamina though, so you can't spam it infinitely. Uh, and uh, defense is meh, because the DPS character, HP is meh, DPS character. Uh, obviously, you want attack percentage instead of splat attack because he has more base attack, so you get more out of it, in my opinion. And that's pretty much the echoes. I have the shiny turtle here, <laughs> and I did forget to mention, but uh, this is his regular punch attack. Yeah. Obviously, this punch attack is better. That's Uses more stamina. And enjoy the rest of the video. Got him. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. This is my curtain call. Boom. Ta -ta. You can use this to navigate, right? You can use the E to move around. It's probably easier. Lion up. Victory is mine at this year's Greens Plucking Tournament. Green what? Dude, it really sounds like he's saying green something tournament. You know, a bad word. 